What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday, March 24th. Wow. Got to talk about Janet Yellen today and about, uh, she made some comments. I guess she was testifying before members of Congress. They do it on a Zoom call nowadays. Like, like I'm sure some of you, many of you maybe, have been working on Zoom since the pandemic, but she was on there. Somebody sent me, I didn't watch the, the, you know, the testimony or I didn't watch the questions, whatever you want to call it, but somebody sent me a video and it was really incredible. But two things I want to say, first of all, she was being questioned by Senator, I think his name is John Neely Kennedy. He's the Senator from Louisiana. And he was really going at her, saying like, we got to pay back the Chinese and we got to pay back the Russians. He said something about the Russians and we got to pay back this country. How are we going to pay for it? It's not like we have some money. And he was talking about $180 billion. We got to pay back $180 billion. I think he was talking about some loans from the IMF. Uh, and exchanging for SDRs, those depository receipts. But anyway, the point is like, how are we going to pay it back? It's not like, he says, it's not like we have some money sitting in a checking account somewhere. And I was like, well, yeah, we do. There's $1.1 trillion in the Treasury's account at the Fed. And Senator, that money was created by Congress, of which you are a member. Unbelievable. How we got, it's not like we have some money sitting in a checking account somewhere. Yeah, we do. Anyway, I tweeted that. If you go to my Twitter, Mike Norman, uh, Twitter slash Mike Norman, you'll see I posted up a chart. You know, Treasury balance over years and years and years was like 300 billion, then pandemic, boom, it shoots up to 1.8 trillion. Where did the money come from? So if I, if I was talking to Senator Kennedy, I'm sure if I told him that, and I did, by the way, I did tweet that to him. I tweeted the graph and I tweeted the explanation that Senator Congress, of which you are a member, all right? That's where it came from. You know, we print money, but I'm sure he would say he would counter, no, you know, we borrow it. So like, when somebody says we borrow it, I mean, the logical response to that is then to pose a question like, who do we borrow it from? And then they're gonna say like, you know, we borrow it from the Chinese. Oh really, do the Chinese issue dollars? I mean, how did the Chinese get the dollars in the first place? Those dollars had to have been spent into the system by government spending. Somebody who's a little bit more crafty might say, you know, we borrow it from the Fed. But again, that's wrong because the Fed does not buy treasuries securities the fed does not buy treasury securities from the treasury like it would be one thing to make that argument and i guess it would make it a lot more difficult to counter if the treasury were i mean if the fed were actually borrowing tre uh, buying treasuries from the u.s treasury so you could see you know in that case even though it's still not borrowing per se because you can't borrow what the government can, it can create without limit. But if it were set up like that, where the Fed was actually buying treasuries from the U.S. Treasury, so you could say, hey, look, you know, Treasury is selling Fed some paper and the Fed is giving the Treasury money, but it doesn't work that way. The Fed buys Treasury securities in the secondary market that have already been bought by people, by institutions, even by countries, okay? Where do they get the money to, you know, then it's like, where do they get the money to buy the treasuries from? Because you can only buy a U.S. treasury with U.S. dollars. 
the dollars have to be spent into the system first. So it was an incredible exchange. She got, on the one hand, a little bit flustered, and I don't, bl I don't blame her because whenever you're talking to people like this who are fundamentally, you know, misguided, ignorant, whatever, um, you know, dogmatic, it's like, it's the old saying, like, you can't prove a negative. Or you can't disprove a negative, something like that. You know, because he could keep saying, he could keep going around and around in circles on there. Like I, if, like I just said, if I had the conversation with him and I said, well, you created it, Senator, as a member of Congress, then no, we just borrowed it. Borrowed it from whom? Borrowed it from the Chinese? No, we borrowed it from the Fed. The Fed doesn't buy from the Treasury, U.S. Treasury. And he keep going around in circles. I'm sure he would come up with something else. But she got a little bit, you know, exasperated, um, understandably, I have to say, with this guy, because the level of ignorance... Folks, if you're from Louisiana, very nice state, I like the outdoorsy nature of it and everything like that, why do you elect these people? Just ask it. If you're from Louisiana and you feel like commenting, just want to know. Next thing, though, uh, no, so I was kind of like, I was in Yellen's, at least in her corner, you know, I was rooting for her. Come on, tell this guy, man. And she went on this kind of convoluted explanation. Well, you know, we're, we're going to, yeah, we're going to borrow it, but then we get paid interest on, you know, what we get in return, those, those uh, SDR or those loans that get paid back to us. And it's a wash, you know, it was a convoluted answer and it, it kind of skirted around the truth. The, but then she goes on and I didn't, I didn't see this video, but I read about it. She says, I'm all in favor of the banks paying dividends and buying their shares, you know, share buybacks. And I was like, I could not believe my ears because I'm like, what, you know, lady, what are you talking about? I mean, Madam Secretary, what are you talking about? You're saying this as you pile trillions of reserves onto bank balance sheets and as just last week, Jerome Powell um, ended the exemption for SLR, you know, just like uh, uh, reimposed the SLR constraints. And you're saying, yeah, now banks could go out and uh, engage in share buybacks and pay dividends. You can't because that depletes their capital. And now they really need their capital because you have reimposed the SLR constraints and Madam Secretary, you are dumping trillions of reserves onto bank balance sheets. I mean, like, seriously? So, folks, you know, if, 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 I mean, I don't know about you, but I mean, when I see this level, and I was in her corner on that first thing with that guy, Senator Neely from, uh, Senator Kennedy from Louisiana. I was, I was rooting for him. But, you know, when she says stuff like that, again, and I hate to be repetitive about this, but it goes back to what I end up saying so many times, like, how do these people get in these positions? Like, you're telling the banks to go out and, and conduct share buybacks and pay dividends when you just imposed massive constraints on their capital, okay, which share buybacks and dividends reduce capital at a time when now because of, you know, what you're doing at Treasury with this massive disgorgement of trillions of dollars onto bank balance sheets and then Powell reimposing the SLR, they need the capital. Maybe some of these banks are even going to have to raise capital. They got to suspend share buybacks, as far as I can see. I mean, maybe the banks are in such strong condition, and that, that could be true. Like, she obviously has a better insight. She's inside. I mean, she could see what's going on. I'm not a regulator. I'm not, uh, you know, running the Treasury. Uh, maybe the that, that might be a tip-off, by the way. I'm just, just kind of 
thinking about that, that could be a tip-off. Like maybe the banks are so all of this stuff about the SLR and all the crazy bond sell-off, panicky bond sell-off. I don't even know the uh, banks are gonna have to liquidate treasury. Well, guess what? When they sell a treasury, they get cash for that. So there's no change in their assets. It's just a recomposition of their assets. Like anyway, wild day. Dollar was up. I'm shorting into it. Just letting you know, a lot of people say, you never tell us about your trade. It is a rally in a bear market. We've seen this before. All right, the new podcast is out. Check it out. It's right here in the description below. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.